So the Leadership Consortium owes its name and its origin from the fact that a consortium is in essence a, a grouping and a, and a collective of ideas and thoughts. And it's embedded in the fact that leadership per se is not normally in the hands of one person. It should be a collective, it should involve different perspectives, it should involve a broad spectrum of what is possible from the leadership perspective. The Zinger Folkman family of colleagues around the world represent a broad group of people who are playing in the leadership space. And our Australian colleagues, Terry Reynolds and Glenn Price, have done a magnificent job in putting together a set of podcasts that address the questions and the recipes within the Zenger Folkman methodology. These podcasts represent step-by-step, -step, short, bite-sized, normally about three to four minutes, ideas, concepts, and tips and tricks as to how we can build our extraordinary leadership. So our invitation is to enjoy these podcasts, squeeze as much value as you can out of them, and make it part of building your leadership stepway to extraordinary. Our second podcast talks about and addresses the question as to whether leaders are born or in fact can be made. Although we rank at the 31st percentile in a global ranking, it is true that South Africa has produced remarkable leaders in history and in time. And just to name a few, we can start with Nelson Mandela, we can talk about Christian Barnard, we can talk about Nkosi Johnson, the AIDS activist who, who really made a mark. We can talk about Elon Musk. These leaders all started from pretty humble beginnings. And it is with this in mind that it highlights the concept that leadership can be learned, can be developed, and this could be an active part of growing to become a successful leader. So while some leaders are indeed more gifted at birth than others, it is true to say that most leaders can in fact develop their career with the right guidance and with the right assistance. Welcome to the Leadership Digital podcast series with Glenn Price and Terry Reynolds. When the subject turns to leadership, someone inevitably asks, isn't leadership something you either have or you don't? Aren't leaders born that way? Can people really become better leaders? These questions are as hardy as cockroaches. They just won't die. In fact, leadership characteristics can be developed. You can become an extraordinary leader. It is true that some leadership characteristics show up very early in life, but it is also true that people often can't predict who will become the superstar leaders. Some people come into the world endowed with self-confidence and a keen intellect, and that is clearly an advantage. But nearly all people are made better leaders from specific developmental activities. Leaders are a lot more made than they are born. One of the best evidences that leaders can be created, starting with regular people, is the remarkable track record of the US Marines. Marine recruits often come from troubled or abusive homes. They are frequently casual users of drugs or alcohol or even have minor convictions. They often have not attended college or university. All of the usual predictors of success are generally absent in this group of individuals. Yet many Marine recruits are transformed into effective leaders after a two to three year period and go on to display remarkable leadership skills as their careers and lives continue. Leadership experts James Kurzes and Barry Posner wrote, we would be intellectually dishonest if we did not say that some individuals clearly have a higher probability of succeeding at leadership than others. But this does not mean that ordinary managers or leaders cannot become extraordinary. Leadership potential can be developed. With effort and practice, you can move beyond the skills you're born with to be an excellent leader. Our goal in compiling this podcast series was to demystify the concept of leadership, to clarify what it takes to be an extraordinary leader. To do this, we partnered with Zenger Falkman and examined what real people say about real leaders. We looked at hundreds of thousands of evaluations who had been assessed by bosses, colleagues and employees. We compared the top 10% of these leaders with the bottom 10% to see what leadership characteristics made the difference. 
This podcast series is designed to share some of our insights from our more detailed work. So to build your leadership skills, believe that you can become extraordinary. Your mindset can make the difference. To commit to learning the concepts in this podcast series. The more you know about what makes a leader extraordinary, the better your chances are of being phenomenal. And three, try out the skills. Incorporate the, these ideas into action plans. Make yourself a better leader. It's a pleasure to be able to share these thoughts and ideas with you and hopefully be part of allowing you to adopt a journey where extraordinary leadership is an opportunity and a growth area for you and your teams.